So this gets us to this idea of Sankey diagrams. Okay, the first thing we need to be able to do for this is to um, establish which are the useful and which are the waste energies in different devices because devices don't just take energy from one form and turn all of that energy into a different form, but it doesn't disappear. Okay, the rest goes somewhere, so the rest is the waste energy. Okay, and we need to be able to look at some Sankey diagrams to explain that. So first thing to understand is let's imagine we've got a light bulb and we've put in 100 joules of electrical energy it produces 10 joules of waste heat okay that tells us we don't really need this number in here because if it's producing 10 waste the other 90 must come out that's what we want which is light so the energy form in is electrical 100 joules of electrical energy the useful energy produced well it's a light bulb so the useful energy produced is the light Okay, and this was 90 joules, and then the wasted form of energy is the heat, and the heat is the other 10 joules. Um, these two numbers here must add up to this one. Okay, with the hairdryer, um, we've put in electrical again, so it's another electrical device. Okay, this time we've put in again 100 joules of electrical energy. What's the useful energy? Well, we've got 20 joules of, of waste sound, okay, clues in there, clearly enough, okay, for you. So that's sound energy, okay, that's 20 joules, okay. We've got 70 joules of heat and 10 joules of kinetic. Well, you want a hairdryer to blow out hot air. So we've got the heat energy in here, 70 joules, and the kinetic, 10 joules. Both of those are useful, okay, again, 20 plus 10 plus 70 must equal 100, okay, so um, the total energy that goes in must all come out, okay, it's a crucial idea there, but we need to be able to identify which is the useful energy and which is the waste energy, okay, but this isn't really the greatest way of doing that, okay, what we really would like is some sort of diagram to show us that, and those diagrams are called Sankey diagrams. Okay, so it goes like this, okay, 100 joules of electrical energy goes in in a light bulb in this case, 10 joules of waste heat, 90 joules of light. How do we do this? Well, usually on the exam paper they'll give you some graph paper and what you need to do is you need to pick a scale. Okay, and you start drawing an arrow. Well, if you look at my scale I've got 100 joules, clearly I can't do 1 square equals 1 joule, but I might do a scale like um, 1 square equals 10 joules. If I do that, then my 100 joules of electrical energy becomes an arrow which is 10 squares wide. Okay, so hopefully you can see here that this distance here is 10 squares. Each square is 10 joules. It doesn't matter how long it goes this way. Okay, I could have stopped here or here, any way you like. You just draw a convenient distance along here. So you've got room to do the right in around the outside. Okay, what happens to this energy? Well, it doesn't all just carry on as electrical energy forever. Okay, it's it's gone through the device, and we've produced 10 joules of waste heat. Okay, and the way we show waste is to draw an arrow coming out. But how wide does that arrow need to be? Well, we've got our scale, 1 square equals 10 joules, and now we're going vertically downwards. Okay, so the arrow has to be this wide. Okay, 1 square wide, because 1 square means 10 joules. Again, it doesn't matter how long the arrow is. I could have drawn the arrow further down here. Okay, what matters is the width from there to there. Okay, what happens then? Well, this arrow gets narrow because we haven't got all 100 joules anymore. 10 of them went this way. Okay, so now we've only got 90. So this width from there to there, this is 9 squares because 1 square is 10 joules, so 9 square is 90 joules. Okay, that gives us a nice pictorial way of showing the energy flow through a device. Hopefully you can see from this, this is a very good device, a very efficient device, okay, because most of the energy carried on is the way we wanted it, which we tend to draw straight on. Only a little bit of the energy came down this way and was wasted. So here's some examples of Sankey diagrams just to see if you've got the key ideas. So this one's a filament lamp. We've put 100 joules of electrical energy in. If you just glance at it, is this a good bulb or a bad bulb? Well, most of the energy went this way, which is a waste. Only a little bit of the energy went this way, which is good. Okay, so this is a, a filament lamp, an inefficient kind of light bulb. Okay, most of the energy is wasted. For every 100 joules we put in, only 10 joules comes out as what we want. 
okay? This is an efficient bulb, okay? So this is a, a bulb that only takes 15 joules of electrical energy, okay? Most of that energy goes the way we want it, only a little bit is wasted, okay? How much is wasted? Well, you can see we've put 15 joules in. We've got 10 joules, that is what we want. So there must have been five joules wasted, okay? What kind of energy is wasted? Well, it's a light bulb, so this will be waste heat. Okay, here's a motor. We put 20 joules in of electrical energy. Our useful energy out from a motor, remember, is we want motors to spin around. That's kinetic energy. Okay, how much did we waste? Well, we put 20 joules in. Five came out, that's what we wanted. We must have waited, wasted 15. Again, you can see the motor's not very efficient because most of the energy went that way. Only a bit of the energy went that, that way. Okay, television slightly more complicated, okay? Televisions use electricity, so this is electrical energy. How much electrical energy do we put in? Well, we've got 750 plus 50 plus 200, comes to 1,000 altogether, so we must have put in 1,000 joules of electrical energy. Okay, how much is wasted? Well, we can see this is wasted, but of course, with the television, we want light and sound, so we've got to use a bit of common sense here that all of this is useful. So that's the useful energy, that's the wasted energy. Okay, the useful energy comes out in two different ways, but all of this is useful, okay? So 250 useful out of a thousand that we put in. Okay, here's a torch. Remember what kind of energy you get from the battery in a torch? Well, this is chemical energy. We put in 10 joules of energy. Four joules came out useful. What's the useful energy out from a torch? Well, that's light. Okay, how much was wasted? Well, four was useful, so six must have been the wasted. Okay, a car again, this is uh, petrol, is a fuel, fuels have chemical energy. Okay, 7,000 is wasted as heat. Okay, this is an interesting conversation with the car because, of course, really with a car, all the energy is wasted as heat eventually when you put the brakes on. Um, but 500 joules was actually, this is actually useful energy for you listening to the radio and whatever. Okay, that leaves two and a half thousand joules, okay, of useful kinetic energy, at least as long as you're accelerating, that's turning into more kinetic energy.